So last week I tried out something new and talked about why Pokemon Trainer went from a character that I thought was pretty good to like a top tier out of nowhere. And a lot of you guys actually seem to really enjoy it and a lot of you guys asked, hey Joe, could you do maybe a few more videos like that in the future? So here I am trying out another one, actually responding to a comment that somebody put talking about why Bowser is potentially the best heavyweight in Smash Ultimate and how I think he got there from being really, really bad in previous games to how great he is in this game. Now with that said, if you have a certain character you want me to cover next, please tell me down in the comment section down below. I just really want more ideas about what characters you think are important what characters you want me to talk about. They can be really good or really bad, and I'll talk about how they got there. With that all in mind though, guys, thank you all for watching, and let's get going. So the first thing I have to mention about Bowser, if you're talking about this character, is that in the past, Bowser was bad. And by bad, I mean just extremely, unplayably bad um, in like every single previous game, and even in Smash 4 for like half the game. If you look at Melee Bowser, I mean, he just had like no good options. All of his errors were bad, all of his tilts were bad. Uh, he was just, <laughs> he was so horrendous. If you look at Brawl Bowser, I mean, he could be abused by the top tiers so horribly. And while I, I feel like just worked a little bit better, he, he still didn't really work. And while Smash 4 Bowser got a really nice Wii work that actually made a lot of his moves better, uh, he just didn't fit in the engine exactly as he needed to. He was just a bit too laggy, um, and people could just play around him a bit too well, at least until the buffs that he got later. Overall, he's just one of those characters that's been like the very worst for the longest time. And it's kind of like Kirby, except for that he never had that Smash 64 version where he was busted. He's just always been bad because of his weight, because of his speed, because of all that. But in Smash Ultimate, they finally got him right. He's finally a good character. Before we get out to that though, uh, let's talk about some of his problems in the past. I feel like the main problem about Bowser in previous games is that he's a character that's based upon instilling fear on his opponent, upon having a lot of very high damaging moves that maybe you can't throw out all the time and can be punished, but if you hit them, you're hitting your opponent far, you're dealing a ton of percent, you're potentially killing them, and they have to really fear those moves because they have a lot of range and a lot of damage. And that just didn't really exist in previous games. He didn't have that much range in melee, he didn't have that much damage in brawl. And you really couldn't instill fear on your opponents when you don't really have any powerful options. He just didn't quite have those. Another thing about Bowser that is just, in general, really bad about the character that still applies to him, and honestly, like every single heavyweight, is the fact that by design, he has to have some awful weaknesses. If Bowser had all that damage, all that power, plus was really fast, plus had really no weaknesses, yeah, he'd be kind of broken, so he does have some weaknesses. And in the past, I feel like those weaknesses were just way better than his strengths. Now, of course, one weakness is you can combo him to infinity. Like, most characters can, like, 0 to 60 this character in, like, every single Smash game. Yeah, that's a pretty bad problem. His recovery as well is very edgeguardable, like, essentially every single heavyweight's recovery, except for, like, D&D, King DDD. You can camp him out super easily, and he's extremely easy to hit because he's so big. I feel like up until Ultimate, he just didn't really have enough strengths to overcome this, and it made him a character that just wasn't that amazing. It made him somebody that had a lot of weaknesses and had weight as a strength, but that was kind of it. Now, in Smash 4, we did see potentially a limelight moment for this character. You know, at his release, he looked pretty dang good. He had a like, mini rework, a lot of his moves seemed a lot better, and a lot of his moves were a lot better. But the problem was he just didn't quite fit in the game yet. He still was a bit too laggy. His bad parts about him were still just a bit too bad. And early on in Smash 4, he ended up being like a low tier, again, even after he got all of those changes. Now, eventually, he did become a high tier, or even potentially a top tier in Smash 4, but I think that was due to one unhealthy thing, that being that they just made him a grappler. They made that his up throw can combo to up air and kill at like 60 to 100% some characters with rage, and that was kind of it. You could up throw into neutral air, get a ton of damage, and you just spam throws. And if I in general, while well, that was an idea to go for, you know, it was better to keep Donkey Kong as the grappler and to make Bowser in general a more healthy character and more powerful in general than just giving him throws, and that's eventually what they did in Smash Ultimate. In Smash 4, yeah, he was okay, this is, you know, at the second half, but still, it was a pretty unhealthy, balanced design. Um, and eventually, yeah, he did become pretty good. So let's talk about how he became good. I feel like the first way that Bowser became actually good in Ultimate is by making him a lot less clunky. Now he's always been actually relatively fast, at least in Smash 4, um, as far as movement speed on the ground, and his air speed isn't, you know, absolutely horrendous, but he just felt very clunky, mainly because jumping took forever, and landing took forever, and a lot of your moves just had way too much end lag, so if you tried to get off the ground, well, you were just in huge trouble because you'd have to land, and your opponent can punish you the second you have to get next to the ground, or you have to use your double jump, and then your opponent can punish you in the air. It was really, really difficult, and just made it really easy to pick on this character. And ultimately though, with a three-frame jump squad change, 
for all the heavyweights that helped them so much. You can't even believe how much that helped them. But for Bowser especially, it made so that you could actually use his aerials. And with many of his aerials being buffed, and aerials just being in general better in this game by being a lot more safe, yeah. Yo, Bowser could enjoy that. He went from somebody that just had to always be on the ground, always had to use tilts, always had to use grabs, to one that could actually jump. Now, he still doesn't jump all the time because, you know, you can't get punished decently well for that, but he can do it now. And I feel like he's just a lot more safe now. He's a character that is a lot more well-rounded now. And that's one great benefit about him. Now, another thing I have to talk about is the fact that he actually now has some, like, legitimately broken moves, um, which you just can't ignore anymore, and I think honestly make up for a lot of his weaknesses. With a character like Bowser that's a heavyweight, he needs his strengths, and he needs his weaknesses. Now, we talked about the weaknesses earlier, but the strengths have to be that he's extremely powerful, that he's extremely scary, that he does a ton of damage, and he finally does that. With Bowser, I mean, he has some moves like Down Smash, which does a ton of damage, has a ton of range, kills super early. He has his armor on all of his moves now, which can be kind of dumb. His forward tilt does way too much damage and kills super early. Up tilt also kind of godlike now. All of his aerials are actually usable now, which is great. And Flame Breath, for some reason, is just so busted. It does like 40% and is safe on shield. I, I don't know why. You, you can't jump around it, but yeah. Oh, overall, yo, that move, low-key, kind of sick. And adding those moves alone, that made him a lot better. That made him a lot more consistent, a lot stronger. The thing, though, that I feel like was the most busted move added to this character, or most two busted things about him, is just his out-of-shield options. Now, a problem about pretty much every single heavyweight, except for Bowser, is that if you get them into their shield, I mean, they're just kind of screwed. They don't really have way too much out of it. They can jump and maybe go for, like, a down B if they have a counter, like King K. Rule or Nair, but it's usually too slow and you can kind of be punished out of it and very easy to see. With Bowser, though, if you hit a shield, um, he will just up B you and deal 20%. Or if you jump up in front of him, then he will just jump side B you, and then there's 20%. And these things come out like almost instantaneously, are super hard to punish, and yeah, um, they make so that essentially you just can't jump on a shield. That used to be one of his main weaknesses, and now it is one of his main strengths. It makes so that you have to be very patient versus Bowser, so that you just can't go balls to the walls, jumping on him all the time like you used to in the past and so that you actually have to respect the character. And this is so important because it makes it that you have to respect him, you can't play way too close all the time, you have to play kind of more in the mid-range against him, and that's where all of his aerials hit, that's where all of his tilts hit, that's where the flamethrower hits, and as you see, you put that all together, and it makes him so much better. You can add that to the fact that his speed is much better in this game, to the fact that he's still super heavy in this game, is super hard to kill, and when you put all of that together, you got yourself a character that just seems a lot more balanced, that can do a lot more things, and that has some busted out of shield options. I feel like Bowser has just become a much more scary fighter because in general, he is stronger. He's not a character that you just have to avoid his grab all the time and you'll win, and if you get grabbed, you lose. He's just, you know, actually good in multiple ways now and strong in multiple ways now. And that makes him very stressful to play versus because he is so powerful and because he is so heavy. And this makes it that, you know, if you make one mistake, um, at like 70%, you're probably gonna die. While Bowser can make like five mistakes, not die. Maybe he's gonna take a lot of damage, but not die. Potentially make it back onto the stage. He was something at like 60, maybe a smash attack. You're gonna be dying with all that rage. And yeah, that makes him so stressful to play versus, and mainly makes him really great for tournament nerves. I feel like this is one of the most important things about the character that really nobody talks about. It's very stressful to play versus Bowser because you could die at any point. You could just disappear at any point, all that effort, gone. And yeah, that's the benefit that we can't ignore. That's a benefit that didn't really exist in previous games. Um, even with, you know, the up throw up air, you could play around that. It wasn't really way really too scary. But now he has so many different things put together that he is really scary. That you really don't want to see him way too much in tournament because if you do, you might just get cheese out of his stock. You might just be outplayed out of his stock. You might just be way above your opponent and then just disappear. Uh, yeah, he can definitely do that now. I feel like overall, Bowser is just a well-rounded character now. He's somebody that has many, many strengths and many, many weaknesses, and he's just kind of in the middle, and with that, he's kind of shown up as a high-tier type of fighter. He's not somebody that's, you know, necessarily way too busted, but he is really good. I feel like that's kind of, in general, what to talk about. And when you compare that to most of the other heavyweights, some are pretty good, decent. Um, you have King K. Rool, which is pretty dang bad. Uh, you have King Dedede, which has some decent options, and... That, that's kind of the main ones. You have, you know, Zinnor, who's also okay. Um, but I feel like this one is just the most balanced out of all of them, it uses his weight the best out of all of them, can still stocks the best out of all of them, and doesn't necessarily have to gimmick as much as the other ones. A lot of the other heavyweights have to use one particular gimmick to try to get a win. 
Bowser has many gimmicks and many strengths, and his main gimmick is just being heavy and doing a lot of damage, and that never goes away. That's a 100% all the time gimmick, which is pretty cool. So like overall, he was just made into a solid character. They put a ton of work into Bowser, and I really appreciate kind of where it ended off because now he's very fun to play as. While he is kind of frustrating to play against, there is counterplay, there is stuff you can do, and he just feels very solid. That all said, those are all my own personal opinions about Bowser, what I think about the character, how strong I think he is, and kind of how he became what he is now, now, how he became the best heavyweight, at least my own personal opinion. Now, of course, you could argue that, but, you know, that's at least what I personally think. With that all said, though, guys, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and tell me down below why you think Bowser's so good right now, slash if you think he's actually maybe not as good, and what are some of his weaknesses that I kind of ignored. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Tell me down below as well what you'd like to see in the next video, and click on the top right of the screen right now for a card for a playlist of more of these videos as I will be releasing more as the time goes on. With that all said, the guys, subscribe to see more like this, and have a smashing day. <laughs>